What is a pending code or DTC, diagnostic trouble code? In this video, I'm going to cover with you guys what these codes are for and how you can go ahead and clear them up and whether they can keep you from failing an emissions test. So you might be working on your own vehicle or you might get a call from a shop letting you know that you have some sort of pending code and they may ask you to continue driving the vehicle or ask you to fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly cover this. So a pending code is going to be a code where the vehicle needs more time to either trigger a check engine light and make it into a stored code or go ahead and dismiss it and clear it up and no longer show it as pending. These codes can be caused by random glitches, bad connections to some sensors. They can be brief intermittent issues and the issues are not consistent and most likely this will not trigger a check engine light. And pending codes can be cleared up by using an OBD2 reader like this and I'll talk about this in a few minutes. Or you can go and unplug the negative side of the battery and this can work for older vehicles. And lastly, you can continue to drive it and as I stated before, the vehicle can go and clear up this code on its own. And I'm recording this video on January 26, 2024. And as of right now, a pending code cannot prevent you from passing an emissions test, even in California. And if you run into a situation where the technician will not go and perform the test, you can go ahead and file a complaint. Or the better thing to do is to call another station, explain to them that all your monitors are ready and that there's a pending code and it should not prevent you from passing. If there is anything I left off in this video, please comment down below. I will do my best to point you in the right direction. I will leave you guys a review link to the OBD2 reader that I'm holding in my hand here as it's really useful and it has this really nice display for diagnostic trouble codes and pending diagnostic trouble codes. And it uses a very simple system of check marks to let you know each monitor is ready. And I have vehicle specific drive cycles and inspection monitor specific videos to go ahead and help you get some of those problem some evap and catalytic converter monitors to set and don't forget to check out this video right here where i discuss pending stored and permanent diagnostic codes all in one and i'll give you guys some tips on that video and if you guys like these sort of short and concise videos please make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as well make it a great day and thank you again